Number 10. The Handbook of Chemistry and Physics gives solubilities of the following compounds in grams per 100 mils of water. Because these compounds are only slightly soluble, assume that the volume does not change on dissolution and calculate the solubility product for each. And then we have this over here. So we have to find the solubility product for GD2SO43. And they tell us that the solubility of that compound is 3.98 grams per 100 mils. Okay, so a lot of words here to basically ask one question. Calculate the solubility product. And remember, the solubility product is the KSP. So we need to find out what that KSP is. And remember, a KSP always comes from a balanced equation. And it's always the dissolution equation, meaning that I have this compound, I'm going to break it down into its ions. So let's start it off. We have GD2 SO43, and this comes to equilibrium because it's a K value. But now I got to figure out, well, what are the two ions that this is going to break down into, right? So I noticed that I have an SO4. That's a sulfate ion. We've seen this all the time throughout chemistry. So the break has to be between the GD and the SO4. Remember, uh, polyatomic ions never break up. So I have GD plus SO4. But now I need to find out what those charges are, right? Because it's going to dissolve. Dissolution means to dissolve into its ions. Well, going back to basics, right? Just use your subscripts to crisscross to find the charges. There was two G GDs and three SO4s. This two crisscrosses up to sulfate, telling me that sulfate was a negative two. I'm just going to put that there. This was a negative two charge. And the GD, the three, goes up to the GD, telling me that the GD was a plus three. We have charges, so that's aqueous now. For KSP, the compound that you're starting with is always going to be a solid. So we have that. Now we just have to make sure that this equation is balanced. I have two GDs, so I have to come over to this side and say that I need two GDs. There was three SO4s, so I need to put a three in front of here. And now I have my full balanced equation, which I'm going to put over here. Now on this side, I'm going to start writing out what the general formula for the KSP is, right? KSP is pretty easy. The formula is right here. It's the KSP equals just the concentration of the products. Because remember, technically it should be over reactants. But for KSPs, you're always starting off with a solid and no solids allowed. And let me just maybe bring this a little bit more over because I want to do something later. Where did this, where did this one come from? Oh, that was this. Okay. Anyway, back to, back to the regular show here. Let's just write out the formula. KSP, in this case, would equal the concentration of the two products. We have the GD plus three. And remember, they're being multiplied by the other one, the SO4, negative 2. But for KSP, just be careful. You have to raise it to the coefficients. So always look at those coefficients. There were two GDs. So whatever the GD number is, I have to raise it to the second. And for the SO4, there was a 3 here. So whatever the SO4 concentration is, I have to raise it to the third. But now that's the thing. Do I know what the concentration of GD is? Do I know what the concentration of the SO4 is? No, not at the moment I don't. So that's the next thing. Remember, these brackets means concentration. That's molarity. Molarity is always equal to moles divided by liters. But in this case, they gave me 3.98 grams per mils. I have to convert grams into moles and mils into liters. So this is now going back to just converting. Let's start with what we're given. 3.98. Oh yeah, just 3.98. 3.98 grams of the GD 
two, because that's what they told me, right? GD2, SO4, three. And this is all over uh, the 100 mils. So one unit at a time, I'm going to just convert the grams into moles. So times by a ratio. Throw the unit that you don't want on the opposite side. So grams of the GD2, SO4, 3 goes on the bottom. Moles of GD2, SO4, 3 goes up on the top. Grams to moles is always the molar mass. One mole per every whatever the, the gram is on the periodic table. Now, let's see. Scan, scan, scan. Where... <laughs> Where is GD? GD, hello. How long does it take Christina to find where GD is? If anybody has found it, just yell. Maybe I'll hear you. Ah, thank you for that. I found it. 157.3 uh, times 2. There's two of them. Plus, I have three sulfurs, so 32.06 times 3. And then I got 12 oxygens. Okay, so I get... Roughly 602.78 grams cancel out with grams. We now have moles. So that's one half piece of the puzzle. I have to convert the mils into liters. So times by a ratio. We don't want mils. So that goes on the top now because I want it to cancel. And then remember, for mils and liters, it's always 1,000 mils equals one liter, the mills cancel out. We're now with liters, so we have the units for molarity. So let's see. 3.98 divided by 100 divided by 602.78 times 1,000. Uh, I guess I'll put this into scientific notation. 6.6 6 Right? 6.603 times 10 to the 1, 2. Negative 2. And this is moles per liter, which is the same as molarity. And that's the starting one. So now I'm just going to say, okay, I have 6.603 times 10 to the negative second. Molarity. From here, though, I could find out what the concentration of these two are by just using the mole ratios. Keep in mind that there was only one of the GD2SO43. So that means for the GD3+, plus, I'm just going to take that number and times it by 2, since it's a 1 to 2 relationship. So 2 times the 6.603 times 10 to the negative second. And then for the SO4, I'm going to take this number and times it by, you got it, 3. So it's 3 times 6.603 times 10 to the negative second. Okay, let's figure out what those numbers are. 6.603 times 10 to the negative second times 2. I get 0 0.132. 0 0.6 molarity. Cool. 3 times 6.603 times 10 to the negative second is 0 0.19809 molarity. Right? Yeah. And these are now your two molarity values for these. Oh, yeah. So KSP equals... The GD squared, because that's in the formula, and the SO4 cubed. So I have 0 0.13206, that's the GD one, and then 0 0.19809, that's the uh, SO4 one, and then just multiply it out. Do the exponents and then just multiply them. So I'm just going to do it all in one shot. Let's see, this cubed, and then I'm going to times that by... 0 0.13206, that's the squared one. 0 0.13206, yep. And now I should have three sig figs, so 1.36, right? 1.36 times 10 to the negative fourth. 
and KSPs are unitless. They have no units, so it's just a number. All right? That's it. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I think... Uh, actually, actually, we have one more left in this number, so hang tight. We'll do that one, and then we're done with this question, all right? But it's fun, nonetheless, all right? I will see you later. Bye-bye.